welcome back to another vlog. We've been meaning to get some content with the S5. However, the weather here has been pretty terrible and just managed to get this thing washed. Also, I was meaning to have the next lot of parts ordered. However, the S5 needs some new brakes and tires, so say goodbye to a cool 5K. Anyway, let me know if you want to see some more of the S5 uh, in the comments. While we wait for the bank account to replenish itself, I thought we could turn our attention to cleaning up this engine bay. Definitely needs some TLC, and we're gonna get rid of any remnants of this terrible blue color uh, on the intercooler piping. We've already redone the intake shroud, uh, and we will look to uh, do the intercooler piping, rocker covers, and some heat resistant wrinkle blank, uh, wrinkle black. Some say it even has uh, additional cooling properties, but uh, I'm not buying it. We'll also replace the intercooler couplers, uh, radiator hoses, as well as the rocker cover gaskets. I'm also going to black out the plastics up the back there that are now grey. Um, I did jump the gun and install some of the uh, those gas struts just to make it a bit easier to work on the engine. Um, this will probably be over a few weekends and, and maybe a few uploads, we'll see how we go. So first things first, uh, we have to remove all the parts and get them prepped for spraying and make it a bit easier to replace these old and crusty intercooler piping. Uh, we're going to install some of these gas struts. Uh, it's going to make it a little bit easier to work on the engine bay. Um, funnily enough, these are from for a I think uh, like a 90s Civic. Um, I'll put the link in the description below to where I got them from. Um, pretty straightforward install. We just got to pop this one in there uh, and use this bracket on the existing um, hardware. Um, and we'll get the other side all installed and show you what it looks like. So we've managed to get the intercooler piping off. I'll call this thing Pete Murray because it's seen better days. Um, so I'm gonna get that all prepped for paint. The other thing I'm gonna do is probably remount this uh, intercooler. Uh, looks as though they've mounted it on the, the crash bar and uh, just causing a bit of a fitment issues with the front bar. So I've got some brake cleaner, some of Bowden's orange agent and a, a scuff pad. Just gonna uh, douse these down with the brake cleaner, give them a bit of a wipe down, um, use the orange agent just to kind of finish them off and then uh, we'll scuff them up, get them primed and ready for some black wrinkle paint. So I've scuffed the intercooler piping. Uh, I've just got some wire and fix it to the clothes hoist. Um, that way we can spray it unencumbered. We're going to prime it with some engine enamel primer, uh, rate it up to was that, 550 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we're going to finish it with some, uh, some black textured coating in this wrinkle finish. Uh, all right, we're all primed up. And while we've got the intercooler off, I thought uh, we'd give that a lick of paint. So we've now got a nice flat black intercooler. Uh, it was looking pretty haggard before, but um, it's come up pretty good. All right, so next, while we're waiting for the paint to dry, we're gonna change out this crusty old radiator piping. Um, got some new gates, hoses ready to go. So we'll uh, see how much coolant we uh, can get on ourselves. All right, we've got the new hose on. A uh, couple of tips for young players. Cut the old one off. Don't um, risk kind of trying to twist it off. Um, make sure you put your hose clamps on the hose before you reattach it, that's pretty obvious, but uh, I didn't do that uh, first go around. Uh, and help just get yourself some dishwasher soap to um, to lube up the uh, the hose and she slips right on. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll top the coolant up and then we'll give it a bit of a bleed. Uh, it should be all good to go. Didn't get too much on the floor, had a drop sheet, but uh, it's got a little bit of a overspray there from uh, from the coolant so we'll hose that off and we'll be good to go. Alright I've changed location uh, we've got uh, three coats of 
wrinkle black on the uh, on the pipes now. I'm just going to let them dry in the sun and hopefully you get some nice wrinkle finish. Alright guys, the pipe came out okay. Um, a few little imperfections that you can expect from a, a rattle can job, but um, all in all looks uh, much better than the, the blue shit that was on here before. So let's uh, sort of start mounting this back up and, and sort of see how she looks. Alright, so all the intercooler piping's back on. Uh, looks pretty good. We also got some new uh, Aeroflow couplers, so I've got those on. Uh, Replace the one in the um, the intake up there. Um, next thing that we're going to turn our attention to is getting the uh, front mount to sort of sit sit a bit better, uh, and also you know remove it from the um, hanging off this uh, this crash bar, which was sort of making it droop a little bit. So what I've done is I've just got some. Um, some of this steel pipe from Bunnings, um, cut it to size, drilled some holes in it, and then another L bracket um, that we're just going to fix to the uh, sort of the chassis, or well, not chassis, but the um, strut here. Um, we'll mark that one up. Probably just need to, to trim this one a little bit. Um, we'll spray it black uh, and get it all mounted and fitting nicely uh, before we put the front bar back on. Um, the other thing is I'm just waiting for some couplers, um, again some aeroflow couplers to go from the intercooler piping into our newly painted intercooler. Alright next up we're going to um, replace most of the, the vacuum hose with just some gates, some black uh, silicon hose. Uh, so we're going to replace those blue ones back there, we'll also replace the one for the boost T as well so that was a red color. Um, we might trim them a little bit so they sort of fit a little bit better as well uh, so that we'll get that done uh, and we'll also we've, we've uh, cleaned up the intake as well just with some degreaser it's come out pretty good and we're going to use some uh, of that Bowden's black stuff to um, to just refresh the uh, the, the trim there. All right, just for some comparison um, left side is without right side is with some of this um, Bowden's Mr. Black applied. Uh, good for all sort of rubber, plastic trim. Um, comes up a treat. Uh, the good thing about it is there's no real residue. So, you know, if we, we've just applied that, um, it, uh, it stays stays stuck uh, and doesn't, doesn't come off or run. Um, see, that looks a ton better. All right, guys, so we've got the, uh, the support back from the, the paint shop. Okay, the backyard um, looks a lot nicer. Also got some uh, just plastic end caps as well to keep the uh, the water out. Uh, we'll fit this one up, um, mount the intercooler, and uh, we should be good to start buttoning this thing up. All right, we've got it all mounted up. Uh, looks nice and snug with this new bracket. Um, we're test fit the pipes back on with the old couplers. Um, I've had to order some different size couplers so they'll be arriving this week. Uh, also I'll probably need um, a bit longer um, intercooler coupler for the intake there because uh, it was rubbing on the clutch fan so I'll, um, I'll order one of those as well. Uh, I've also got some uh, black um, different size vacuum uh, hose for, for the blue stuff back there and this one at the front here. But we might call it uh, for this video. Um, next video with 33, we should have her all back and running, all buttoned up, good to go. Uh, but stay tuned for that. In the interim, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on uh, what's been a pretty straightforward DIY kind of uh, refresh. Thank <laughs> you.